All right, y'all, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be sharing my journey so far in Texas and what's brought me to the scooter life, right? So let's get into it. What's it like being a full-time squid? You're probably asking yourself, what's a squid? And I'm pretty sure that means a person who rides a scooter all the time. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I'm a family man. I had one SUV and one car back when the pandemic started, right? Most of the stores that we needed were conveniently close. I'm talking less than 10 miles. That means very little time spent on the roadway and maybe some mile traffic. I do value my time and my energy, right? And, and I do want to enjoy life. And I'd like to think that I'm bold and smart enough to ride on two wheels and do so safely. So I started to research uh, two wheel transportation. Now this was during the pandemic when I sold my truck, right? So we were down to my wife's car and it was just better to keep the extra cash and set it aside for a rainy day than to keep making a payment on a you know, truck sitting in the driveway. So I, I kind of just sold the truck, sat on the cash and waited. And I found out very quickly that I need to figure out my transportation you know, right now, like this, this was getting old quickly, not having or down to one car. So not having really the freedom to get around, especially when everything is so close. Um, I found scooters in 2021. I was watching a video on a car, you know, typical guy stuff, chilling, watching car videos. Um, I came across a buddy scooter and that led me to that style of scooters, right? Something that I can get around in. I didn't really want to just jump right into a motorcycle or anything. So when I saw scooters, I was like, hey, no clutch. It looks good. I can handle that, you know? Um, so when we're talking about scooters, I ended up finding a Rough House 50. If anybody has heard of a Rough House 50, those are like highly sought after 50cc uh, gas scooters you know, and they don't sell them everywhere, I would say, as far as U.S. is concerned. But if you can find one, uh, they're not, you know, they're, they're highly sought after, right? So they're not, they're not easy to come across. And most of the time, you're going to buy one used. Now, I was blessed enough to find one here. And this was perfect. Like, I loved it, right? So someone who only needed a ride maybe less than seven miles, right, to get to a Kroger, a Walmart, a Target, a Lowe's, most restaurants, a 50cc scooter was the right size for me to get around, and it had storage. So the Rough House 50 was a great scooter for the time being. However, I quickly grew out of that. My skill set grew. You know, I did all my practice. I did all my, my tight turns, U-turns, brake control, all of that. And it's a great scooter. I still have it. But I needed something with a bit more power, something that can keep up with the traffic. And that led me to the scooter in this video you see me riding today. That is the X-Max 300, which is a Yamaha, right? So I bought this scooter, I hit the streets, and man, this is a year round scooter. Let's talk about it. It has enough power for most highways. It's agile and sturdy for the city. The suspension is smooth. It's a great ride. I can turn it with ease. It's got a centered feel around the corners. The perfect balance of power function with plenty of storage and tech, right? So I love my X-Max. Now, I consider myself officially part of the scooter game. And now that I'm on the road with two wheels, I ride whenever I can. I avoid the rain. I keep a jacket, helmet, gloves, and my brake alarm with me. Now, I'll make some mods to this bike as I'll own it. But you'll see here in this video that I pretty much have added just that like the hand so the hand guard um those came from alibaba and then just kind of talking a little bit about my gear um y'all should check this out but the the 
backpack of choice that I went, right? Because every every guy that rides a bike has like, you gotta have your bike backpack, okay? Because you gotta take your, your, your Mac with you, you gotta take your, your stuff with you, you know? any Anything that creative you might have, or maybe you got some returns or errands, right? So the cool thing about the scooter life is that I got plenty of storage. Um, I gotta pull up the text later. Maybe I'll do a video where I kind of go more in detail and just kind of show the bike more. Um, but the storage in this thing is amazing. And now the backpack I have is a Yeti. It's like a, it's the Yeti uh, Traveler or something like that. It's the 27 liter. I know that. And it's the blue one, man. That's a pretty good one. If you get an opportunity to check that bag out in person, that's like a quality backpack. And I'm a I'm a backpack head. Okay, I, I collect backpacks. I like really nice bags. So my my backpack, bike backpack of choice, was that. And then I have a, a nice padded um, jacket that has like the material on the inside that I can take the lining out. So when it's cold, you know, I can stuff the lining in there and it's got that extra protection. Right now I'm doing no lining. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside, man. I'm just cruising. Um, I think I'm getting some lunch to, on this day. So the um, helmet that I have is a built helmet. It's a modular helmet. So I got this one pretty cool, right? It was on sale. This was actually the day I bought the X-Max. And I was like in the store, I was like, man, this is pretty nice. It was on sale. Man, I popped that little black shade down when I was trying it on. I said, oh, hell yeah, I'm getting this. And as you can see, that looks cool as fuck. I just got to say. So always keep some leather padded gloves. You know, keep the knuckles protected. Always keep a helmet. Always keep a jacket. And then my riding shoes of choice. Most of the time I wear the high top Vans. Um, now, I know they're not like motorcycle boots, right, from the handbook. I get it. But I typically don't wear anything like sneakers or anything like that. I always wear like some boots or my high top bands that I have. Just a little bit more of a utility sneaker. So that's a little bit about my scooter life. Um, you guys, this is what's going on with me today. It looks like I'm pulling up Chick-fil-A to get some lunch. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Drop some comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.